गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन लास्ट वीडियो वी सो सो मेनी एंगल्स एंड आई टॉट यू हाउ टू मेजर दोज एंगल्स ऑल्सो आई टॉट यू वेन शुड वी यूज द आउटर स्केल एंड वेन शुड वी यूज द इनर स्केल ऑफ द प्रोट्रैक्टर यू बेटर बी वेरी केयरफुल वेन यू आर मेजरिंग एंगल्स बिकॉज द मोस्ट कॉमन मिस्टेक विच द चिल्ड्रन मेक इज they are measuring the angle with the help of inner scale and they just shift to the outer scale that will be totally wrong your acute angle will become obtuse right okay so children pay attention to that today we are going to learn how to draw angles and i am telling you it is going to be lot of fun but before that i want to tell you two three things which are very important you should always have a very good scale a good protractor and a sharp pencil with you when you draw angles children if our instruments are good and clear then we'll be able to draw correct angles accurate angles okay so we should not have blunt pencils and we should we should not have crooked scales right children okay so let us move on to drawing angles for drawing an angle you need a scale and a very sharp pencil first we are going to draw the first arm of an angle with the help of a scale and the pencil see this is the first arm of the angle and i am going to make the vertex here at this point so since i am going to make this as the vertex my center of protractor must coincide with this point and this arm must lie under the base line okay let us put the protractor yeah i think it's fine now i am going to draw an angle of 35 degrees i will start from the zero which is lying on this arm that is the inner scale this is the 0 10 20 30 line is is for 30 but we have to draw 35 degrees so 35 degrees must lie between 30 and 40 so this is 30 31 32 33 34 35 this is 35 degrees so i will put a point very very carefully here on 35 degrees i'll remove my protractor and with the help of the scale i am going to join this point with the vertex and extend it further so this angle which i have drawn this angle is 35 degrees this is a 35 degree angle right now i am going to make an angle of 90 degrees again i will draw my first arm of the angle with the help of a scale and a sharp pencil i'll remove the scale and i'm going to make the vertex over here i'll keep the protractor with its center on the vertex the base line on this arm very very carefully and once i have placed it i am going to start with the zero which is lying on the on this arm and i have to go till 90 degrees so 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 <laughs> so children for 90 degrees I am going to put a point over here and now I am going to join the vertex with this point very carefully and extend it further to make it an angle of 90 degrees so this angle is 90 degrees and this is a right angle Okay now children I am going to make an obtuse angle whose measure is 112 degrees 
and also this time I am going to make this point as the vertex. Since this point is the vertex, my protractor center must coincide with this point and my this time children please note my zero is on the outer scale why it is on the outer scale because this is the zero okay this is not the zero which is dot which, which is there on my arm this is the zero which is there on my arm i have to draw 112 degrees so i start from this zero 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 after 110 i have to move two degrees and carefully draw the point here i hope it is 110 111 112 now i'm going to join this point with the vertex I have joined this point with the vertex and extended it further and now this angle is 112 degrees and this is an obtuse angle. Now children I am going to draw 180 degree angles. If you remember 6 o'clock is 180 degree angles and it is a straight line. So actually, you know, you don't need a protractor at all to draw 180 degree angles. Simply you draw a line with the help of a scale like this. Make two arrows at the end of the line. Make the vertex in the center of the line. And this angle is 180 degrees. And I will show you with the help of the protractor also that this is an, this is 180 degrees angle since this is the vertex so i'm going to keep my center of protractor on the vertex and have a look children i did nothing i just drew a straight line and you can straight away see that if you start from this zero the outer scale 180 is lying over here if you start from this zero the inner scale 180 is lying over here so I have drawn an angle of 180 degrees which is a straight angle. Okay, so my zero is on this arm 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150 and this is 160. So 155 has to lie between 150 and 160. This is 150 and this is 155 so let me put a point over here along with 155 with the help of the scale i'm going to join the vertex with this point and extend this angle which you can see this angle is 155 degrees and since it is more than 90 degrees it is an obtuse angle right now i am going to draw a 63 degree angle so again first of all the first arm of the angle this time i the this will be the vertex so i am going to keep the center of the protector on the vertex and one arm on the baseline the baseline should be on on one of the arms so i'll start from this 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 now 63 i have to draw 61 62 63 so here is 63 i will draw a dot a point I am going to join the vertex with this dot and extend it further and this angle which I have drawn is an acute angle and this angle is 63 degrees angle. So children 
I hope you would have understood how to use the protractor. Never forget, this is the baseline. This is the outer scale. This is the inner scale. The, you should start with that zero, which is lying on one of the arms. So quickly, I will show you once again that this angle is 63 degrees. See children, this is zero on the baseline and this is 63 degrees. Now, if you will keep it like this, okay, let us try it like this and see whether it is 63 degrees or not. Okay, now, look, please have a look. This is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and this is 63 degrees. Okay, children? So, please practice a lot. Make long arms of the angle and your angles should be very sharp. You should not rub again and again and you should make the, try and make them in one go. Thank you and have a nice day.